All right. Yeah. Listen, I've been seeing some crazy stuff on the um, internet, especially on TikTok lately, of a lot of uh, bad things going on in Chicago. And apparently, Walmart is shutting down a bunch of Walmarts in Chicago. And I kept seeing people talk about how the reason that's happening is because Chicago is, I mean, excuse me, because Walmart is very racist and they just don't like black people or something. But I saw, I've seen so many crazy looting videos and I don't think it has anything to do with race. Um, so like, let's talk about it, but let's not like, let's chill guys. This is, this is like a racial thing. This is just a Chicago sucks thing. I just wanted to pretext that. Let's watch. Walmart's going to close four stores in Chicago this weekend. By the way, that is half the total in Chicago. How big is Chicago? There's only eight stores. Lydia, who is here? Uh, what? Who's that? Well, she's in <laughs> Chicago. What is Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson saying about these uh, closures? Hi there, Stuart. Brandon Johnson is saying the closures here in Chicago are part of a larger nationwide trend. Listen to this. Something that, that you know, Walmart has been doing around the country. It's you know certainly um, some reflection of the way business is shifting and and changing throughout the country. Is it? Is this something? I, I, what does this have to do with the? What trend are we talking about? I I haven't heard of any WalMarts closing. If anything, they've been opening Walmarts, at least by me. Um, are Walmarts are Walmarts constantly closing? Oh, uh, like at fifty percent rates. Walmart will close twenty stores in eleven states and DC. Four Chicago stores are among the latest to join the list. The company is also winding down its two remaining pickup locations in Illinois and Arkansas. Hundreds of workers will also be laid off. Well, okay, so there does seem to be a trend of them closing stores. But I imagine if the store itself was profitable, they wouldn't just close it. Um, okay. And Stuart, you know, Johnson's not wrong on that point. You can see here Walmart is closing more than 20 stores across. Every Walmart in Portland. Doesn't Port isn't Portland like kind of obnoxious too? 12 states and the District wrong? of Columbia this year. But about the closures here, specifically in Chicago, Walmart issued a statement saying, quote, our Chicago stores have not been profitable since we opened the first one nearly 17 years ago. And like, listen, I understand the, the progressive argument like where Walmart doesn't really pay their employees very well. They could pay them better. There's a Walmart around me that I think, or maybe it was something else, but I'm pretty sure it's a Walmart that completely cut out every cashier. It's now all automated. Um, and a lot of their stores are doing really well. And that's a conversation that this conversation to have about how Walmart pays people so low, despite the fact that they can afford it, that like they're basically using welfare as subsidies for paying their employees like shit. Uh, Walmart and Antarctica close well. Wow. But also, they are just loot. I'm going to show you the videos in a little bit. They're just like destroying and looting the stores. So, you know, that conversation isn't uh, isn't really <laughs> necessary here. Uh, they're just destroying and looting the stores for fun. I'm assuming because they they don't just steal stuff. They like destroy it. Okay, I'm a good I'm a good thief. From when I go to Walmart, I only steal one item. Okay, usually a piece of gum. And then I scan all the... No, I don't steal anything. I can't take myself to do it. But listen, you're going to go to the Walmart. You're going to slip a pack of gum in your thing, whatever. You pay for like a couple items. You steal a dollar worth of gum. You pay for when you walk for this. Whatever. But these... Well, I'm going to show you. These motherfuckers are destroying the Walmart. I would close too. Um, these stores lose tens of millions of dollars a year and their annual losses nearly doubled Jesus. in just the last five years. And Stuart, we had a chance to talk to a local business analyst who says that the problem with closing these stores here in Chicago, that's a reflection of the Chicago business community. He points the finger at rising crime and high taxes. Yeah, I mean, listen, I don't know about the taxes there, but I will say like, bro, from what I've seen, it seems like the cops aren't doing anything about it. So if you're a business owner and the cops and people are destroying stuff and the cops aren't doing anything like you don't have any support. I mean, that's 
you know, one of the things. And what sucks is that, like, I know that these are in, like, very black areas that this is happening. And I know that I've seen a lot of racism on TikTok, too. People blaming black people. Like, it's like it's just an inherent black. Well, it's not. It's it's just, like, that's a multitude of different things. It's, like, mostly poverty. Sure, I'm sure a history of systemic racism is a, it's a factor. But the reality is that they're just stealing and destroying these things. So there's no excuse. But they're hurting black neighborhoods, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's not like, like you know, all the people that are complaining in the video that I watched, it's all black people are like, yo, this sucks. Like, we, we're going to lose, they're going to lose jobs now. There's less jobs in the area. The food is generally cheap, too. So now we're going to, we're going to, there's going to be, you're going to see more food deserts. This isn't good for the community. Uh, this is really bad. <clears throat> Watch. Property taxes uh, can be tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars <laughs> even for businesses. We also have one of the most cumbersome regulatory environments in the city of Chicago. Okay. That was not much that they said, but okay. And now we're seeing four Chicago Walmart stores closing for the residents that remain. That means fewer options for affordable goods, the necessities, yeah. and grocery items that they so desperately need, particularly yeah. in this inflationary environment as food remains expensive. Yeah, I mean, they should have put more police at these Walmarts. Chicago should have said, let's put like four police officers or like or two at every location. You know, protect these businesses, show them that we're going to arrest people that are coming in here and done something about it. But Stuart. All right, Lydia, thank you very much indeed. Uh, but yeah, I want to watch this TikTok that I found along with it. Keep robbing us. So we're going to bounce. Kids and shit. Like, well, I don't know, but I'm sure one of your neighbors got a 50 pack of ramen noodles somewhere, nigga. You better ask. Boom. Walmart, you should be absolutely ashamed of yourself. You are the reason that our communities lack the investments yeah. that they have. Well, we get right. Bro, that just comes off as like a frankly a virtue signal. Like again, Walmart is not perfect, but like you're gonna blame Walmart because there's no, because there's no, the businesses aren't getting. Protected. That's what it boils down to. I mean, if I was a business and I was losing money at a location for 17 years and people were coming and destroying the place, how is that Walmart's fault? I don't know what you want me to tell you. Um, well, we get robbed every day from corporate greed, not to mention the 300 years of systemic oppression our people have faced. Why are you going to leave us? I feel like an animal. Look at this. Bro, that that line right there like broke my heart when I first heard that. It's just black woman that's like saying I feel like an animal, um, and it's like black people made me feel like an animal, and that's just so sad, dude. Because I couldn't imagine. Because again, I see so much racism on TikTok. It's like, oh, it's black people, uh, basketball Americans, all like like legitimately racist stuff. Um, and it's like that's not it's not black it's not it's not a black person thing. There it is. It's just a thing. And I'm sure that there's most of the people in the community are just devastated by these the, this shit. They're losing their Walmart, you know, they're losing their 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 affordable, accessible food that's in like walking distance, and it's just somewhere to go. My wife and I go to Walmart every once in a while just to get out of the house, you know. <clears throat> I it's just it sucks. What you're witnessing is our chickens come home to roost. Bro, our slogan is literally save money, the better, and two. Are you really trying to justify thievery from like some yo great 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 grandfather went through? Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, bro, look at this. Look at this. Isn't just stealing from a Walmart. This is the whole group of people running in and destroying the place. It's crazy. They're just destroying it. You know, like this is insane. Like, are you seeing how fucked this is? This isn't just like, oh, I stole something. Look, there's just food everywhere. It's nuts. Look at this. Dude, look at this. People are flipping over like centerpieces or whatever they're called. Well, I'm gonna mind my business. And I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna Yeah, flash mobs. Is that what it is? Pay for my soda. And this guy is out of a job now, probably. Common sense is racism, then I'm a, I'm a fucking grand wizard, nigga. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Chicago, when they close all the Walmarts up in the hood for all the black people. 
Jesus. Wait, this is like legitimately messed up. It looks like somebody punched a hole or like hit this with a hammer. This is nuts. It looks like these are systematic, like you were saying. It looks like these are like some kind of flash mob that's like showing up to destroy the Walmart. They're not just stealing. Like, whatever, go there and steal something. But this is like destruction. It's not even that they're losing money on theft. Like, it looks like legitimately, it's hard to see, and maybe I'm wrong, but it looks like somebody beat this in. You guys know like how the self-checkout works? It looks like somebody beat this with a fucking hammer, and there's like a hole in this. The demon outside my door. This is nuts. Like, I don't know how much these cost, but this is in and of itself is a huge expense. To, to uh, If I was to steal something, I'd steal like a ring ding. Or they got some really good Johnsonville uh, beef cheddar worse. I'd steal that. But I'm not going to break anything. I'm just going to go in there, take something to walk out, you know? <laughs> Jesus Christ. POV eating for free at Walmart. Bro. Bro, that's the worst. Bro, you got, you got, bro, like, this is not good. Like, you have your kid doing it too. You're teaching your kid to be a bad person. And I don't, and not for nothing, but I don't think any of these people give a shit. And I don't mean black people as these people. I mean, any of the people looting. I don't think that they give a shit about the, the, the conversation about systemic racism. And I don't think that they give a shit about like the conversation about Walmart underpaying people. I think it's just an excuse to steal. I think most people don't give a fuck about anything. And they're just like, oh, look, we can steal and feel like we're justified. Let's steal. But bro, that's a kid. That's a young girl with her entire life ahead of her. And now she's being taught that this is okay and normal. It's fucking wild to me. Like this, to me, is some form of child abuse. You're teaching your fucking kid to steal? This is fucking nuts, dude. And now this whole Walmart's going to close... And you're going to lose the ability to get access to food. There's going to be jobs that are gone in the area. Other businesses are going to get the signal that not even Walmart is going to stand, like, going to stay there anymore. And there's going to be other businesses closing now. This whole place is fucked. This is nuts, dude. It's nuts. I'll be real with you. I don't care about this that much. This part here. <laughs> like this one right here, I don't care. <laughs> she shouldn't be doing that, but that's again, she's just regular stealing. Okay, <laughs> other people were like sitting there recording for social media. This person got caught on the camera. Other people like on recording on social media, showing off, stealing, going in there, destroying stuff. This one I don't care that much, but um. You know, and then another question is like, what is it that they're stealing? You know, if they're stealing actual food, okay, that's one thing. But if they're running in there and stealing like clothing or something, like, I don't know, like that's fucked up. But I just feel like it's messed up. It's just silly goosery. Um,. So, yeah. AP Universe super chatted $1. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. But yeah, man, I just wanted to talk about it. Like, it's just kind of fucked up. There's a, bu a bunch of Walmarts are closing down. I'm assuming that this has a lot to do with it. People looting, stealing, rioting, destroying the businesses. I get it. Walmart's not perfect. I get it. They should pay their people but get better. I get it. But at the end of the day, it's still affordable food and the communities need that. Um, and people are just going in there. And I doubt that they give a shit about any of that stuff. And they're just destroying stuff. And to be honest with you, and maybe I'm going a little too far, but I think maybe some of it is this victim complex that we're pushing. I, the first one that's going to tell you, systemic racism, it, it, it objectively ob exists. It is an object, from every objective metric, systemic racism exists. It is just a thing. If you, if you disagree, you're just disagreeing with facts. I'm letting you know that you're wrong. But I feel like when it comes to any issue that any group of people faces, whether it's something based on race, gender, sex, uh, penis size, right? Because, you know, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, we don't talk enough about guys. I think that we should, I think that we should normalize three inches. That's all I'm going to say. You know, I mean, think about that. You wouldn't want a three inch nail in your foot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But we've gone from, hey, guys, this is a real thing that we should be aware of from a systemic level, and let's advocate for change. And be like, oh, that's a good message. 
But we've gone to the point where like everybody is now victimizing themselves and being like, just because they can identify with one form of oppression, now they're all over it. And there's such an obsession with there's such an obsession with being oppressed that people on TikTok are now saying that they have autism and ADHD and they have this and that. And there's like people, you know, because they want to be oppressed. You shouldn't want to be oppressed. And so we've gone from acknowledging a real thing to looking at life through the lens of like that one thing. It'd be like, oh, I'm fat. If I looked at every negative thing that ever happened to me because I'm fat. Oh, the guy over there didn't like me today. Oh, it's because he's fat phobic. Maybe I just smell, you know? Um, all I'm saying is like, we are not having the right conversation. We need to have the systemic conversation about forms of oppression that, especially for pop, poor people in general, but we can't, we can't, you have to, you have to not victimize yourselves. That's weak. And you have to pick yourself up by your bootstraps a little bit as much as you can while we fix the system, you know? So that's all I'm saying. Doggy dogs. It's a dog eat dog world. Boo, boo, boo. Yeah. Cause at the end of the day, this, this is only hurting black Americans. Like if, if, if it's, if it's a bunch of, it's a, it's a very small amount of black people in the community destroying these Walmarts and now other good outstanding Americans, the majority of the people in that community now are not going to have access to food or inexpensive food or like more co like costly food. How many, how many hardworking families that are living in Chicago that don't want to be living there, but they have to because they don't have the money to move out are just trying to make ends meet like the people working at the Walmart and they can't because fucking degenerates are fucking everything up for them.